What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate. So last week we went on a five hour live stream with Tyler Burnaby, AKA JBoogX Creative on Instagram. And we created this commercial. Dude, have you tried the new Doritos flavor? It's called Spicy Ego Death. These things are gonna be like, like totally revolutionary, man. <laughs> I can see the spirits dancing in the bag of chips. Chip design, sleek, textured. Triangular psychedelia, very premium. First bite, immediate out of body latency. I saw my YouTube analytics in 4D. A machine elf tried to sponsor me. It's literally infused with DMT. I ate one chip and immediately met a machine elf made of nacho cheese. Final verdict, crisp nine out of 10, would recommend. What's crazy about this, not only were we able to come from concept to final result in such a short amount of time, but it was honestly something that we just pitched and were able to create alongside the community, diving into all sorts of new tools like Cling 2.0, Google's VO3, and Yapper, just to name a few. Honestly, the result is so impressive because it really highlights just how powerful new AI tools are allowing creators to come up with all sorts of crazy concepts and have fun. So today I'm gonna recap the main insights from this test experiment. That way you can start creating all sorts of amazing stuff right away. Anyways, I'm super excited. I know you are too. All right, let's go. break this down into five main points that we discovered. And the first one being that Google VO3 is amazing. Yet surprisingly, the only clip that uses Google VO3 is this one right here. Things are gonna be like, like totally revolutionary, man. <laughs> I can see the spirits dancing in the bag of chips. In which we have this hippie and this Native American dancing at a rave scene. I feel like I am one with the universe. <laughs> The dialogue comes out super expressive. It's very hilarious. And it's actually really impressive that we didn't have to specifically prompt what the person says, but instead by having something a little bit more vague, we were able to let the AI run its course and come up with something that was actually kind of hilarious. Now, one thing to note is that Google VO3 is not cheap. And another thing is that it is not perfect every single time. So even though we generated probably three or four different generations of this, we actually only ended up using one of them. And another caveat of using Google VO3 is that it doesn't really work so well for image to video because it's extremely restrictive in terms of making real people say something, leading into the second main insight that we learned, a tool called Yapper. So Tyler put us onto this tool, which allows you to create realistic video generations with audio of someone saying just about anything. So it's a combination of both voice cloning a person and also cloning their likeness and generating a video sequence super easily. Now, this was super mind blowing. And one of the things that I thought was really interesting is that using this tool, there's already some famous figures like Joe Rogan, Donald Trump, and a whole bunch of others that you've probably seen spreading around the internet. But it was really impressive that in a matter of minutes, Tyler was able to create an MKBHD clone with just 20 seconds of footage from him doing a Nintendo Switch review. So that's honestly freaking mind blowing. One thing to note though about using Yapper is that you wanna make sure that there's no hand moving across the face. So I just ruined it whatever clip anyone is trying to use right now of me. And you also wanna make sure that there's not really a mic obscuring the mouth. And I'm assuming that's just gonna create trouble for the AI to start to generate realistic movements and realistic audio from the segments. So if you guys are gonna try this out, make sure to keep that in mind. Now, moving on to the third insight is that Kling 2.1 is really, really good for generating movement and motion, but there are two main differences between the Kling 2.1 Pro and the Kling 2.1 Master and that appears to be credits. So if you guys are using Kling, you know that not every single generation is gonna come out perfect. And so it's really smart to be a little bit economical as to how you're using this tool. With Kling 2.1 Pro, it only takes about 35 credits to generate, whereas with Kling 2.1 Master, it takes around 100 credits. And surprisingly in our testing, we did not notice it to get incredibly better results from just using the upgraded model. Instead, I mostly saw more debris, more movement, but for a lot of shots, you can actually get away just using the Kling 2.1 Pro and save yourself a lot of time and a lot of money. 
Now, at the time of making this video, Cling 2.1 actually came out with an awesome new feature, which is allowing users to generate audio as well as video at no additional cost. So you're actually able to generate video sequences like this without spending any extra money or credits to generate the audio that accompanies it as well. And it's pretty cool because downloading the video clip, it's all together, almost as if we were using Google VO3. So Google definitely has some competitors here that are interested in taking over the space when it comes to video and audio generation together. Now, the fourth main tip to learn from this experiment is that Sora is amazing at generating photos with people and with objects in a very specific context. So a lot of these scenes were actually done by creating the image first and then animating that using Kling. When it came to the original image generation, at least for famous people or for characters or brands that are already already well known and established using Sora is a huge benefit because we were able to create this DMT flavored Doritos bag just off of prompting. Now, if you guys are curious how to prompt a little bit better, it was helpful to use another tool like ChatGPT to come up with the full prompt. And this allowed us to create all sorts of awesome looking scenes and really have the AI model flesh out some of these ideas and come up with its own creative work. The script was written with ChatGPT. The package design was also Sora. The movements and the animations and specifically this scene was using Google VO3 and Kling and Yapper. And overall, I think coming together from concept to reality is a freaking mind blowing experiment. So the fifth thing that we learned is that this kind of stuff is nowadays possible to do in a matter of hours. And you can actually think of these different AI tools almost like your film crew to where ChatGPT is a really great copywriter. You can prompt well enough to give it some photography instructions. You can treat Kling and VO3 as if they're your video crew. You can use Yapper as if it's your hiring manager. But when you have this entire team right behind you, these AI powered tools and just one or two creators, you're able to make some amazing stuff. So that's really what I want you guys to take away from this is that there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can start creating. Of course, there are some cost constraints and there are some limitations with these tools, but once you start diving in and learning a little bit more as to how they work, what they work well at, and the best ways to optimize your workflow, much like you would have had to with certain constraints in an actual film and professional setting, the end result is something that honestly, you probably couldn't have even imagined to begin with. If you guys wanna learn more about advanced generative AI techniques, we're putting together a course that's releasing next month that is backed by by some of the industry top figures, as well as we're bringing on some awesome industry experts to share their insights, their knowledge, judge student work. And it's probably gonna be the biggest course, and I'm proud to say probably the only course that's gonna have so many different experts from multidisciplinary backgrounds, different ways to engage with them and interact along that learning experience. The waitlist is now officially open, so you guys can go ahead and check out that link down in that description box. The first 200 people who sign up are gonna get some awesome freebies and bonus packs and perks from all of our sponsors, such as free credits to generate a locked in early bird discount price and exclusive updates so that you guys know exactly what's going on and how this is gonna fit into your creative and professional experience. This field is getting super crazy and we're having a whole lot of fun with it. I think you guys will too. So make sure you guys go ahead and sign up while you can. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope to catch you in the next one. Until next time, all right, peace. So this black mixture is having a generative AI course in mid-July, and I'm like, I can't even generate a sandwich.